catfish who went to extreme lens for the con. What does that mean? We will find out here. Let's enjoy this once again. I pause a decent amount. Get used to it. Or you can just watch the compilation on your own. Oh, you can do that whenever you feel like it. Look at Malibu's little head underneath my chair. Okay, let's get it going. Lord. Hey guys. Tell us about Stephanie. Take us back to the beginning and kind of give us the, the tour. All right. So this is guy Isaac on TikTok. And he's always like my positive attitude. And he's always uplifting me. And yeah, white teeth. Isaac messaged me. He was like, I've got my friend Stephanie, who I think he would look good with. So I was like, well, send me pictures of her. And he sent me pictures of her. And I was like, yeah, I was like, give her my number. Like she's very attractive. Wow, it's and not Isaac, plenty of fish here. What's up, Lexi? No, just through TikTok and he's on my Snapchat. Got it. So I gave him my number, and then when she called me, it came up on a blocked number. We talked, you know, it was kind of like introducing ourselves, you know. Okay, the first about. red flag. The blocked number thing is is a very large red flag, in my opinion. Uh, th that's that's a very high red flag. Like, if you're like, oh, yeah, let me give you a buzz. I'll give you a call, and it's on a blocked number, I'm going to immediately not answer that not, that call, right? I don't. I will never, ever, ever, ever answer a blocked call, ever ever in my life i don't even answer the phone if it's a number i don't know i google the number like a number will call me and i'll google i'll just be like i'll just be, and it'll say like petco and i'm like oh thank god i don't know i just hate when random numbers call me it gives me anxiety well and it basically just went from there us talking more regularly and when you got somebody to talk to that cares about your feelings, I mean, it kind of makes you realize what you actually deserve. You know what I mean? Right. How often are you guys talking? It really just depends. She says she works like 12 to 16 hour shifts, but like this twice a day. So wait a second. So do you Damn, even 16 hour shifts is no, wild. It's literally a block number every single time. I'm going to freak out. You... Why do they do it so early in the compilation? So do you even have her number at this point? No, it's literally a block number. Every he doesn't time. have her phone number. Bruh. Bruh. That's that's ridiculous. Imagine talking to somebody for months and months and months, and you don't even have a way to contact them. You just have a blocked number they can't they call you on. Bruh. What's up, Aslan? That makes me. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. If you see me looking away, by the way, it's just to see what the puppy's doing. Do you guys text? Never a text message, never a FaceTime call. She has what? to call you? You can't even call her? I'm baffled by this. So wait, so okay, no. Anonymous, no. Correct. She's uh, if you're watching this on the VOD channel, I did not just say I love dick. That was a message that was played on video um, through a sound alert, okay? I would not interrupt my own video with this and that was an anonymous one so i, I don't know what's going said on said that she doesn't like social media because it's drama now wait a second how, how, what about isaac how does he factor into this because are you still friends with him honestly we haven't talked the longest but we still have each other on social media have you ever talked to him about stephanie and like found out more not really not really how does he say that he knows what do you mean stephanie? not really why not he ask him friends i really didn't get into the backstory of it is there any chance that it is isaac i would flip the hell out you would, well, how would you be how would you be shocked if it, the guy who said hey you'd be good with this girl uh you should you should hit her up you would be you'd be shocked if it was him oh, oh. wait a second it worked hello hey uh, how's it going how is it? <gasps> malia thank you for the six months Woo, ryan i heard about that bde oh yes if you're referring to big dad energy yes you are correct malia is this for real right now? <laughs> here's here's Isaac. I know. I would too. Isaac. Here's what we're doing. You Isaac X. Introduced Charlie your XCX. Internet friend Brian to a girl named Stephanie about a year ago. Do you remember that? Yes. So He's like, "Yes, I remember it because it's me." So I don't know if you followed up with either of them that much about You can be it. my dad too. Okay, guys. All it's right. Going well. Bruh. Okay. But here's the snag. Stephanie's been very sort of shady. She's never given Brian. Yeah, you you her don't number. say. She Shady. always just calls him from a blocked number. He's been wanting to meet up with her, and she's always too busy. And he's just starting to wonder if she is who she says she is. Okay. And you're the closest link we have to Stephanie because you introduced them. So we just want to know how you know Stephanie. We're pretty close. I've mm. known her because she's actually from my hometown. 
Well, that makes okay. sense. Long story short, I ended up talking to him and I said, hey, I have a friend, she's single. And I pretty much, you know, got them to talk, but I, I don't believe it. Up. So you and Stephanie are actual friends from Moses Lake and you spend time together in person. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's been a while because- I'm gonna say that they're friends, but, but they- Moses Lake. Yeah, yeah. But and it's him in a sense. Too, right? No, but right now she's in town visiting family. I do know that she's Sketch. staying at the hotel. Here's what we're gonna do right Sketch. now. Sketch. He said she was staying at that hotel. Moses Lake. Well, he's yeah, just gonna call a, it? A... This is why I love Neve, man. Neve's always ahead of the curve. You give this man any nor a nugget of information, and he's on a map, and he is ready to go. He is ready to call. He is ready to drive. Okay. All right, let's give him a call. And ask for Stephanie. Neve. I mean, if she's staying there. Wow. Yeah, I'm not buying this. You I feel like I, Isaac enough. obviously you lying here. other ways to be invasive. I'll be baffled. I will be baffled. If she's there. Can you connect me to Stephanie room, please? Oh, this is the perfect week. This is the perfect pause point. Brianna. Thank you so much for the 10. After this episode, I will do a large dance. Or the eight, sorry. I will do a large dance. Your dick's small. Okay, that's ridiculous. That's unfair because I don't want to play the copyright music, but we're going to end this stream on an unbelievable sound of dance because Brianna with eight gifted and then anonymous. I'll tell you what, that's. I couldn't even get my thanks in on this holiday season anonymous. Thank you. Thank you very freaking much. Let's see what happens here. Yes, give me one moment. Let me look it up, okay? Yep, thanks. No shot, Stephanie's there. No chance. Zero, zero. There's no way a girl answers. What are you gonna say? I don't know. I didn't expect there to be a person with that name registered in that hotel. Oh my god. Well, probably not home right now. The fact that he connected it. I hung up because I don't think they're gonna answer, but wait a okay. second. So that means that there is a Stephanie staying at the- I'm confused. Well, I'm not Okay, these compilations do their best to jump ahead, which is nice. Monet, thank you for the six months. Guys, the sub love is wild right now. Thank you very freaking much. Hey. Hi. There's no way this is a real person. Um, I just wanted to start off and say that I wanted to apologize to Brian. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't think that it was the, uh, this serious. I thought it was just like flirty and having fun. Um, I didn't tell him the truth. Um, well, is there any way you could show us your face? Um, I don't know if I can show my face. I'm actually married. Oh, and, shit. And I'm older than I told him. Married? What's going on here? I know that was a lie. I do care about Brian. He's a great guy, but our relationship can't go past this. And I, I think this whole thing is done now. And I have to give Stephanie was real and Isaac wasn't lying. I got I owe my boy Isaac an apology, man. I owe my boy Isaac an apology. I was there. I thought there was a zero percent chance Stephanie was a real person. Get back to my marriage. I mean, I think that Brian should move on. Well, do you have anything to say to Brian? Damn, Brian he's just got played to you hard. For a year, and you know he's right here, and this is this is a big moment for him. I know it, it's scary for you, but it's also equally just as scary for him. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, you know, that I I do have to say. Um, okay. <clears throat> dude, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. What? Wait, what just happened? What the hell is that? Was this a Marvel movie? What just happened to her voice? Was she, what, bro? What? What is she using a voice mod or something? Dude, I can't do this anymore. She changed her whole voice. Wait, what just happened? Is there any way I can talk to you guys alone? You mean 
just Cammy and I? Sure. 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 Bro, What's up, Zach? We're, we're here to listen. So, Are you, bro? Brian, why don't you hold, hang out for a second? You can put you in like a, a way. She said, "Cut the camera." She said, "Cut the voice." We'll talk to Stephanie for a second and see what what's up. Sure, wonder. Bruh. Okay, so now it's just us. What the Stephanie, heck was that? Around? That was unexpected. I'm, I'm still here. Um. <laughs> Who is this? I can't take this. I, I can't take any more of this. We're only six minutes in. Who is this? Says, uh, this is just a. This is like a Marvel film. This is like Endgame, man. You just like, who's gonna appear, bro? Is it Spider Man? Is it Iron Man? Who knows? Fight for Isaac! Ah. Ah. No! I just apologized! Ah. Are you kidding me? I take back everything I said. Hold on. I take back everything I said about Isaac. I just apologize to him. I take back the apology. Let's find out what's going on here. I just have to confess that it's definitely me, obviously, me clearly. Oh, wait a second. Who is that woman in, that was just talking to us? That was my friend. Um, I, I really, I, I didn't want to hurt Brian. I, I felt like it was less embarrassing, like if it was to be a, like a well, what did he? What did he hire this woman? What's going on here? The bro emotes really necessary today here. Woman, a married woman, and I just didn't expect it to get this far, and I didn't think that it was going to end up like that. Right, but who did I talk to last night? Was that you or was that your friend? That was me. So it has been you talking to Brian this whole time. It has. When your friend started talking, I felt like Brian would have noticed. Bro, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm baffled. It, I'm baffled. If her voice was different, but was she trying to sort of do the voice that you've been doing? Uh, that that wasn't her talking. That was me. Oh, that was you talking off camera. Yes. What? Oh, th what is this guy's? He's Jigsaw or something. He's like a mastermind. This guy's a criminal mastermind. I need evidence. Where is the voice that we heard last night? Did you want to meet Stephanie? Yes. We he did not just say, did you want to meet Stephanie? This is going to be the most bros I've had in a long time. You want to meet Stephanie? Hi, I'm Stephanie. Bruh. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. He pulled that out of nowhere. That's pretty damn good. That was really good. What the heck? Bruh. And how are you? Yeah, there it Bro, is. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> like a little shot. What the heck? We had a little bit of a suspicion that it could have been you. <laughs> That's funny. But you seem so happy and in love with your boyfriend. What we, the heck? He... It couldn't be. I, I am. I'm in an um I'm in an open relationship. And so That's pretty open. Uh, I came across Brian and his TikToks and um I didn't think it was gonna progress. I think the more that I got to know him, the more that I started to fall for him. And the more that I started to feel guilty. Oh, so, this whole thing is crazy. Without the show, I was already planning on ending things because I felt that it was getting a little too out of hand and a little too... Yeah, a little too out of hand? You don't say you were faking like you were a woman who then you made real, who is a married woman who you dragged... What in the... <laughs> Wait a second. Why would, he, why would he make all this up? After we spoke yesterday, and I asked to be connected to Stephanie. Room. Are oh, you yeah, checked true. in as under Stephanie? There's like, no I'm way. just confused. No, I actually work here, and I created the. <laughs> Bro, the layers of this onion are. I've. Bruh. I thought Reggie was smart. This man, this is this man, works at the hotel. Used that as an alibi, and then when hoping that Neve would call, baited Neve. Neve did call, and it worked. Then he set up the girl to come and act like she's married. Lie to him, dude. This whole thing, this is unbelievable. 
So you're not even really checked in, you're just like put a room under Stephanie because you can. Correct. That is... Okay, well that answers that. Why take it to such crazy lengths? I really care about him. You should be telling all this to Brian. Why don't we just Yeah, come on, let's bring bring Brian, on, bring Brian in here. So he can he can hear all this. I'm just I'm really nervous, but okay. It's better for him to know and to okay, hear. This from is you. wild. This is a and wild one. Moment, so I'm gonna bring him back in the room and you'll just explain. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's bring Brian back in. He is going to be shocked. I mean I kinda I mean I feel for him, but I kinda get it, you know, like this that fake voice is pretty solid, but the block okay, no, I wanna say to Brian. The block number thing, Brian, come on. Right? Come on, Brian. Say yeah, thank you for the five months. And yes, this is a very crazy episode. Look at Neve right now. Look how stern Neve is. That's how you know. Look at Cammy. She's about to explode. Oh um, Isaac is the one you've been talking to on the phone. Oh no. Hello. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. So, We're Brian. You know, I'm Stephanie. Who was that? The girl in the chair? Yeah. So that was my that was my friend. I think the idea was he was hoping to play it off like you were actually talking with this married woman, and that way it would be less embarrassing for you. That's insane to me. But she wasn't really. That's because it is insane. It was Isaac's voice off. It is insane, mind. Brian. It kind of blows my mind, honestly. I just want to say that my. intentions weren't bad i didn't think it was going to go this far and you know the more that i got to see your social medias and the more i got to know you through that the more that i like started to it's like not you, me. the more that i feel like i started to fall for you <laughs> i don't even know how to feel right now dude like we told each other so much it's probably made up on i absolutely know that Br brian is at some sort of parent grandma or aunt's house just because that's a lot of chinette right there it's a lot of plates i know that's not brian's plates I'm still the same person. You're not the same person. I'm still the same person. No, that's not true. I'm sorry that we can't see Brian here. Every time I told you to be there for you, that was me. It's all good. Isaac was there. Not Stephanie. Hey. Okay, that was that was the first part. That's the that's how do I recover from that? I feel like that dude could fool the FBI, Isaac. Nobody. What? What do we have here? Okay, it just jumps right into it. Very scary. Eh. Okay, we got some. I don't know. We, we got some friends here. Wow, this is much. So better. okay, so Brooklyn. Obviously, Allie kind of filled us in on some of the basic plot points of your relationship with Jason. Right, we got to figure but out the next one here. Can you kind of just go back to when you met him and and how the relationship evolved? Neve with a really crazy change year. of scenery well, so here. I was on Plenty of Fish app and I had a message from. Jason. What was she on? Listen again, chat. Over the last year. Well, so I was on Plenty of Fish app, and I. I'm not fucking leaving. It's like clockwork. It's unbelievable. Cammy's face is my face. It's unbelievable what Plenty of Fish has done. We've called it Plenty of Catfish for a reason. Jessica, Alex, thank you for the 16 months. Once again, if you're watching this on the VOD channel, these are people coming in, live, supporting, showing some love. So if you want to do the same, come on over. The link is in the description. We have a full chat going. It's very fun. Um, about to delete my plenty of fish. Haley, if you have one, you might want to maybe get a bumble or a hinge or something. I might want to get rid of that thing. I had a message from Jason. I mean, we immediately hit it off. He was like the All right, Jason. Guy. What was his he name was, on there? I mean, we... Jason the Coolo. He said, you're so beautiful. I'd like to get to know you. That's a nice message. He immediately hit it off. He was like the perfect guy. He was a hard worker. The way that he took care of his son. He Shit, my eyes, bro. What the hell? We exchanged the way numbers, it moved. and we texted every single day. We were constantly texting, twenty four seven. We said, "I love you." Okay, this is going well here. Turd. Gift like, and a sub to Jane. Things about me, and he remembered. That's me, actually genius. That was really important for me. Thank you very much. You guys ever make plans to meet I appreciate up. you, Kristen. Um, I did tell Jason. You know, right about this time was when COVID started getting really bad. And he said that he was an EMT. He was like an essential worker. So he was working seven days a week. I was like, you know, I want to meet, but I understand like things are crazy right now in the world. And, you know, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt to meet me. We were supposed no, to. Also, uh, one time EMT, I, I made, I, when I was in like third grade, 
I had a teacher who was also an EMT, but the teacher was very mean. His name was Mr. Prawn. And he said he was an EMT. And I said, a extremely mean teacher. And he wrote me and I got in trouble for it. I think to this day that that's an incredibly good burn. Mr. Prawn was not very nice. To meet for my birthday, which was in the middle of May. It was like the week of, and he wound up saying he had to work. Shout out to it Mr. Was mandatory. Prawn. He couldn't get off. And I decided that it was best that we just stop talking because I didn't want to be in a relationship with somebody that I hadn't met or that I hadn't had. A I can't make this up, but Malibu, the puppy I'm watching, is just crawled into the crate on her own. Now she's out of it. And she just kind of laid there for a second. Taylor, thank you for the 11 months of Prime. That's our sub goal. Thank you, chat. That's 25 subs today. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Chance to, yeah, like, like he wouldn't call me on the phone ever. <laughs> Can you show us some of the conversations you're having with him? Like, yeah. Okay, so they did. They, they, so oh, okay. It's already green. No offense. If you have a, if you have an Android, that's fine. I, it's not a big deal. Half my family does, but it makes it a little bit weirder, and it'll sometimes. So you only speak over text. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never a great sign. But Jason, he has social media. He no. does not. Uh oh. None. Nothing. What? So that was another thing that I'm like. Okay. Yeah, not a great sign. Androids are great. No, no, I agree. I um, a couple of my friends have Androids that are actually much faster than my iPhone. It's just I have so much stuff on my iPhone at this point. I don't want to. Just gonna keep it. But. He just didn't like technology that much. Like he wasn't really in. He didn't really like to have all of it. He's not in the technology. Um, I did ask him to send okay. me a picture with my name on a piece of paper. Oh no, like, this is gonna. Oh, this is go this is gonna look sketchy. Let's see if they show it. Like I want to make up, sure Kimmy? that you're, you know, this person. And I did get one. Oh. Uh, bruh. No comment. And this is the same one he had sent. Yeah, that is the picture. Yeah. I mean, it does look handwritten. That is a handwritten font. Picture seemingly pretty convincing. But Coco so with the 11 months, friendly. hello. He's a handsome guy, too. Thank you very much, Coco. Oh, no. Definitely want to see that picture. I know and edit when I see it. It is not real. Him with the Brooklyn sign. No. Or he's talking about Brooklyn, New York. Looks legit to me. I know, right? Can you zoom in? It's on the fake. Text? I'm calling it now. I'll get if it's real. I'll gift five subs on the spot right now. Holding a piece of paper too, like and a blank piece of paper. Like the texture on the paper is too well done. Like yep. I, that looks legit. So is this just Jason, or is this guy in on the whole scheme? I don't know, I keep looking at his eyes thinking that he's gonna tell me something. What are you thinking? We are on Zoom. Did you send her the link already? I sent her the link. So then Brooklyn, you gotta get out. Oh, I guess that's true. All right, so you're right. So Brooklyn, yeah, you should. Yes, we're about to find out who Jason is. Hide. And okay. I'll send a text to you and Cammy now so that we're on the same thing. So we can all chit chat. Uh, okay, there you go. she's gone. Perfect. Initiate. Man, you just get my heart beat up. This could be her chance to get her revenge. So yeah, thank you for the thousand freaking bits, dude. Chat's going off today. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Always watch enjoy always enjoy watching your streams. Hope you get everything you wanted because you deserve. Thank you so much. That's very sweet. I really appreciate the love. Thank you for, for coming in and, and saying that and a thousand freaking bits. I appreciate you. Thanks for always coming in here. Oh. Hey. Okay. Hi. Hold on. What's going on Both here? Both of you are here. Okay. Well, obviously, we're still trying to figure this whole thing out, but we've got some puzzle pieces that aren't quite fitting. How are these two? Um, and so, I, so before I launch into some questions, is there anything that you guys want to say just to kind of like steer this conversation one way or the other. Um, go right ahead, Kara. Go ahead. Kara, I think this one's on you, baby. I just want to be honest and tell you guys that I'm Jason. Oh, crap. 
your Bruh. I knew that was fake. Bruh. And Rio is Jason too. Half of Jason. Half of Jason. Huh? Half of Jason, what the hell does that mean? Aha. Uh -huh. Can you guys just take us back and explain how to Certainly how to not Jason it? we saw in the photo. So Brooklyn, I reached out to Brooklyn as myself. She wouldn't she wouldn't hear me out. Uh oh. And couldn't get her to stop talking to Carlos. So I made a fake page. Uh oh. DOF, started writing her. So the idea was to to, to, to get revenge on Brooklyn. Wow. Well, you said that Carlos was talking to a lot of girls. So why Brooklyn specifically? Reaching out to the other girls, they kind of like, you know, fell back. Brooklyn, she kept coming and coming and coming and coming and it never stopped until Jason. She didn't care how long they talked and I was her. She just kept being a home wrecking hoe. God, hold on. Full God. disclosure, Brooklyn has been on the call the entire time. Oh, hell no. I'm guessing Carlos was her man. That Brooklyn was also talking to in some way, so she got revenge and catfished her. Let's see what Brooklyn has to say. Oh, she's not happy. Surprise. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, at the end of the day, you hurt me, I hurt you. I reached out to you at me. You wouldn't understand where I was coming from. You wanted to keep coming in my relationship, my oh. friendship, whatever you and Carlos wanted to call it. Uh. So. I that was the only way to get you and Carlos to stop talking. It worked. I went through with it. And then you guys fell off because Jason was telling you everything Carlos was not telling you. None of that happened. Uh -oh. Carlos and I fell off for different reasons, not because of Jason. For the simple fact of that it was so much drama with Carlos. Right. Did Carlos know about Jason that you guys were behind this? No. Mm -hmm. Carlos was not lying. And so who's the guy in the pictures? Because you guys must know that guy. We don't we know don't. him. We so, reached out to him on Facebook. Well, we stole his pictures off his page. And so I wrote the guy. I found out that my boyfriend was talking to another female. So I made a fake page with your picture. And I wrote her in hopes of getting her to stop texting him. Well, it worked. And now I'm in too deep. And she wants a picture of me in parentheses you. No. No, it's not a real... F no. No. Holding up a piece of paper that says her name on it. And he said, what's her name? I said, Brooklyn. And he Ain't no way he did that. He sent the picture. Bruh. Well, that is crazy. I did say I would gift five gifted as well if that pic if the picture was real and I am embarrassed that it but and I'll still gift that is just unbelievable that that man went ahead with it so if Sammy can send the freaking gifted link do that real quick and if you're not in here live you could get a free be getting a free sub right now that's unbelievable man L Jason L Jason L freaking Jason okay. L freaking Jason, bro. What a what a Alright, there we go. Unbelievable. Thank you, not Ryan Abe, for gifting five subs. A deal is a deal. A deal is a deal. Jason, I you know, L Jason, but he did get you guys some subs there, so. But weird, have a good have a good uh good day at work. Alright. Wow. So you just basically came clean and told him. Yeah. Basically. I'm moving on. I have a relationship. Why did Jason message me, you know, a couple weeks ago and then a month ago? You know, like, why are, were you still trying to get into my life about things? His emotes, though. I think we were just bored. What the f is wrong with you girls? Whoa, Cammy with this. She was not happy at the end there. Hey. I love hearing Cammy swear. Bro, that's wild that that dude actually went along with it and was sending photos and stuff. That's wild to me. That makes me... That is bizarre. The first one, though, by the way, was crazy. So far, that one, definitely weird. Definitely weird, but... Jesus, Jada. Get it together. Right, here's Emma. Let's see what happened to Emma. I'm guessing she was on Plenty of Fish. Hey, welcome. Uh, 
things in New Jersey. Oh, it's always Jersey. Jersey's the south of the East Coast. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but it is. But, you know, other than that, everything's been cool. Well, we want to hear your story. So back in April, he followed me on Instagram. I was like, wow, he's really cute. Is that PewDiePie? Is that like 2012 PewDiePie? Who's that? EJ. EJ, huh? I'll slide in the DMs. <laughs> so I messaged him. And within a day or two... I wow, here's my digits, so babe. He kind of came in at a point where I needed someone like him. Just like a really good, caring person. Someone who go. was willing to listen. And he would always remember little things that I told him. I'm like, I'm a sucker. If you could remember the little things, I'm like, oh, you pay attention. It was awesome. Okay. And his Instagram to you looked fully legit and like a real person. Oh, yeah. He had verified athletes commenting on his posts. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really? Okay, because he played football. Yeah, so he claimed. Mm. What was his position? Uh, he claimed quarterback. Classic. He could have said safety or something more believable. Right? But at that point, I didn't really think twice about it. And are you guys just texting or talking on the phone? So I'd be like, oh, can you FaceTime me? Up here we go. What's going to be the excuse, chat? Earthquake, tsunami. I mean, honestly, usually it's uh, busy, very busy, or um, Mike. Oh man, like the camera broke. Crazy. I. It's someone threw a seashell at me, and my camera hit it, and it saved my life. And it's always something with families. A good one. Gothic. That's a good one. Tornado broke the camera. That's a good one. Um, what else could it be? It could be that he got shot and killed, and that's not a joke. This has happened on the show three times now. Uh, what else could it be? My cat threw up on the camera. That's solid. That could be a thing. My dog ate it. Let's find out. Because it's, it's always something. No reception is an actual... The thing is, Alana, you're too like logical. You can't be that logical with some of these people. Watch it be the no reception thing. He'd be like, yeah, I'm at practice as soon as I'm done. Oh, okay, hold on. Too tired, right? Let's see. I'm at practice. Practice. Practice he's, is the new. He's going to be studio. exhausted after yeah, practice, babe. I got practice. It's so easy. Great. And he would always make it a point to FaceTime me or call me whenever I was asleep. This is, dude, wow. This dude's like an evil genius. Oh, my God. Isn't that insane? So, so she would wake up and feel really phone. bad. No. Right? She would wake up and be like, oh my god, I missed his call. I feel terrible. He knew that she was sleeping. That's He's like uh, gaslighting her from afar. Never. So I reversed her to his phone number. And it's okay. To a Tiana. At least he did something. There you go. Right. So what did he say? Finally, someone in this show does some sort of Googling. God, man. Like I said, I Google almost anything that calls me. Also, Cammy kind of looks like she's. Cammy kind of looks like she's Beyonce or Rihanna posing for like an album cover right now. Take a look at the pause here. Does that not look like if you said, "All right, Rihanna, Beyonce, pose." He then proceeded to tell me he actually had a fiance and his fiance's name was Tiana. Okay. Oh my God. Finally, after days of arguing with him, I'm like, I don't believe anything you say. I think you're just a liar. He's like, you know what? I have to tell you something. He's like, look up Jake. And I found out EJ's pictures are actually a quarterback. The University of So EJ showed you that the pictures that you thought were EJ had actually been Jake the whole time. Right. What the is happening so now ej is like me jake and this kid kyle are behind this instagram account jake kyle and i all made this account to talk to girls on the side they got a whole three there's a whole team behind this catfish Not to cheat on their girlfriends so now he's claiming that jake has been in on this whole thing right he sent me one more picture oh he i just it just dawned on me he was the, he whoa the quarterback dude was in on it but was giving the pictures to his friends to use as him as like a like a you know a tag team trio effort to catfish with his own photos that's wild that gets a boo <laughs>
Tommy. I want you to see the real me. Bro, oh, what is what how can you say something like hey, that? This is me. But no matter how I try to cut this kid off, he finds different ways to contact me. So September 18th, I went and I got skin removal, and EJ texted me from a huh? phone number. Okay, well, that was just a friend. I didn't actually. Why did she get it? September 18th. I went and I got skin removal. Skin removal. And EJ texted me from a okay. different phone number. It was like, How's here's that mean? a video with Jake wishing you luck. Yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes on that one. What, the video? Yeah, do you want to see it? Yeah, we want to see it. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's PewDiePie. Hey, Emma, this is Jake. Just wanted to say hi and wish you luck before your big surgery tomorrow. What? What is this, a cameo? Who would say, hey, Emma, this is Jake, like that, if you talk to somebody all the time? You'd be like, hey, good luck with your surgery. Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Abe, and I just want to say, good luck with your surgery, babe. Like, that would sound like I'm trying to be on the Disney Channel or something. This dude booking a cameo. Hey, Emma, this is Jake. Just wanted to say hi and wish you luck before your big He's surgery. He's like, why don't we uh, just know on that cameo? About you and I'm sure everything will go smoothly. It's a cameo. It's a cameo. Bruh. How does this always happen? Bruh. How? Bruh. Maybe me and Cammy really are so This happens every episode at this point. Bruh. I don't understand. Do you know what Cameo is? Do you know that app? I yeah. can't believe it, bro. I, there's no way in my... There's no way I would have thought they even knew what cameo was. Dude, I'm ba I'm baffled right now. Okay, so there's an app where you can find This is the most weird thing I've ever and celebrities. And us. We're on there and I did not actually think it was video. cameo. I was and kidding. I, I I did not actually I was just making a joke. I didn't actually think it was a cameo. It's an actual cameo. He's got a cameo. What is that? Although he's only got one on here. This is crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. This isn't, this is, this doesn't, I, I can't believe this. Someone actually got a cameo. I was right. Wow. Dude, what lens are they going here? And they left a review. The surgery was a success. That's insane. The surgery was a success. They left in the review. Who who even goes to that length? Who even goes that far? That's like the Joker or something. Bruh. Wait, but that's not you, is it? No! Thank you so much, Jake. This really made my day. The surgery was a success. He must have made an account and named himself Emma and did it oh my god that's insane so ej made a fake account calling her, himself emma requested a cameo and then left a review as you Sick. post surgery that's bro that is absolute madness that the parallels happen here with the cameo i cannot believe this Sick. i'm floored oh. you can't they can't go to another one Who's this? <laughs> they can't, and that's insane. That one was insane. Who's this? Hi. That's got to be a, uh, like a, like a, is that a fake beard? What's, wait, is, oh, wait a second. This is, bruh. I just put two and two together. This is still Emma. Floor. This is the guy, this is, some, this is supposed to be EJ. Floor. Oh, hold on. We might have to pause here. Hold on. Got some barkage here. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, come on. I forgot to switch the angle, damn it. There you go. Oh. We got Officer Cooper here on patrol. Get the Cooper emotes in if you'd like. Okay, he's just kind of looking around. Cooper keeping watch as he does best. Protecting the house. That is my dog. And if we go full screen, I think you can see Malibu behind me. Oh, yeah, look at that. So very, there's dogs everywhere. 
Hello. That's because people keep slamming doors. So the dogs freak out and I tell them not to. All right. Let's go back to desktop here. Let's find out what's going on. That had to be a Sharpie beard, though. All right. This is Emma. Hi. She is not happy. Hello. Who is this? Emma kind of looks like, uh, uh, what's the, uh, gosh, man. What's their name? The family, the rich family that people don't like that have kids. That's a lot of people. Um, McBroom. This looks like uh, the McBrooms. Catherine McBroom is that her name? Looks like her. Doesn't it? Doesn't it kind of? It doesn't look like Catherine McBroom. Is her last name really McBroom? Is their real last name McBroom? I just put two and two together. Halsey's a good one too. I actually used to think that was a joke, to be honest. Like, like a YouTube name, like Austin McBroom. I actually never thought that was a real name. That's that that blew my mind. The more you know. Nick Broom. That sounds like something I like someone like a janitor at McDonald's would be using, a McBroom. All right. Look at that. Where yet? Where the hell yet? Every time I turn, she turns. Okay, you know I'm not. Hey, hey, what's up? What are you doing? I'm playing a little bit. Okay, all right. Let's finish. <laughs> let's find out what's going on here. Hello. Who is oh. this? Uh, this is EJ. EJ. Thank you for talking. EJ to with definitely, definitely, uh, I believe, definitely Sharpie to beard. I believe, right? I'm not gonna, you know, whatever. If not, but I, I think, I think I know a Sharpie beard when I see one. This is EJ. Thank you for talking to us here. Okay. Obviously, there's a lot of questions we have, but before we sort of start firing away, I'd love to just give you an opportunity to introduce yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, well, my name is EJ, and I'm 22. I just want to start by saying that I'm sorry for using somebody else's picture. That's like the least of my concern, though. You've gone to some pretty serious. Experience. That looks like a girl. Could it? Yeah, could it be? A, could it be a girl in disguise I don't think here? You realize how much it's affected me as a person. I think this is just the first time I've really cared about something. Before uh -huh. this, I really never dated anybody. It's time to stop. Bull well, you can, I don't know if you can consider that dating if that's not, I mean, to me, it's just not dating. Like, you're not, I don't know, I don't, I don't consider that dating. Us? To me, dating has to be... Like, to me, if you have to date, you got to be hanging out in person, in my opinion. I mean, everybody has different opinions. But in my opinion, like, if I'm dating somebody, it can't be texting. That, to me, doesn't make... I don't know. I I don't know. Stop bullshitting yourself and just be real. Why does your phone number come back to a T on a uh, Because it's my dad's name. What's she her dad's name? Mm -hmm. Oh, dad name. I see. I, I know what that is. I know what that is. Mm-mm. Ah, see, now so they're like, okay. Fiance, you've never been engaged. No. Being that that Use is that same dating, number. We'll not uh. be using it again. Why not tell Emma that when she asked you about the phone results? Uh, just being scared to just be honest and be myself. I mean, I get it when people say the scared thing. I understand. But still... Uh... That's a lot that you're doing to another person, regardless. Like, I understand you, you dealing with your own things. I get it. Everybody's gone through some things. But then you're involving a whole nother person in your own pain and sorrow. And it's like, to me, that's not the best way to lift, you know, to lift things up for yourself. It's not by dragging somebody else down. It's by the opposite, in my opinion, right? I mean, like, like I said, I don't care what you are, who you are. It doesn't bother me in any way, you know? Gay, straight, trans, I don't care, alien, I don't care what you are. I'll treat you the same. But don't drag other people down and use that as an excuse, in my opinion. Because everybody's gone through shit. Everybody's gone through some things. Everybody has identity issues. Some people choose not to bring others down because it's a moral thing. So that's why I always never like when people make excuses. Because it's like... You just... No, we're no one special. We're all this, we, all have, we all have bullshit. All have bullshit can't ruin other people's days because of yours a difficult thing to do that is a very understandable thing but your behavior that's my take not. on it it is pretty appalling 
the okay, thing Cammie, that you have put respect. Emma through in your quest of being close to her, you were trying to force Emma's hand. It that's is what, that's my future wife right there, Ken. And how someone who has decided to live an authentic life is leading such an inauthentic life right. on the side doing all of this. Like, come on. Uh, I think, obviously, I have anger issues. So for me, like, when I do certain things, I don't even know that I'm doing them in the moment. Because I'll do it. Gotta go to therapy, bro. I'm telling you, therapy is the best. Me, man. I'm like, no, I, I hate that therapy that, has a stigma. Definitely a good candidate for some therapy and some anger management. But what brings that anger on? Was it something about Emma specifically? Yeah, like, did I do something? No. no. Oh, poor Emma. Like, I was just poor Rachel McBroom or whatever. Like, emotionally, I think it was just, like, abandonment issues from, like, a childhood to, like, now... I don't Once again, I, I I get all this, right? I get it. Like, ab abandonment issues. I get all of that. But I'm just saying I still never like it as an excuse to ruin somebody else's life. <laughs> you know? I don't really understand, like, how to handle people just, just leaving. Yes. So you think the times when Emma may have threatened to stop talking to you... Emma didn't do nothing. That could have triggered she thought it was somebody else. You can't get mad at somebody for not liking you when it's somebody else. That's You did that to yourself. It's, it's you know... And, and then caused you to retaliate with harsh words or threats. Yeah. Well, can we just go... Hold on. Can we just go back to this man right here? Where is he? I just have to come... This nice. man Isaacs, bro. Bye. This man was the villain of 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 the show, dude. This is the most villainous person we have ever met. I'm gonna let's throw some tomatoes at Isaac real quick. Let's get some tomatoes going in the chat. If you're a subscriber, and you're here live. Let's get a nice little tomato chain here. Isaac, this man is very scary. There's something about this man. I don't like it. I do not like it. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Thank you, Chad. That's that. I don't know, man. This dude, that was this. This guy is scary. I don't ever want to see this guy in person. If you guys see him in person, turn around and run. Please. Madrid, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Allie, getting us back up to our sub goal because we are now beating sub drop. Oh, my goodness. That was a. As always, that was a wild ride.